hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is lies on if you are a returning subscriber welcome so today i am here to explain the process of how it's more like the delivery part from alibaba here to south africa from um the delivery company to the customs uh clearing customs and everything because i'm getting a lot of questions regarding customs clearance what was the process what is customs clearance so i'm going to be answering everything so what is customs clearance what is customs what is clearing customs definitely you are just clearing your customs you're clearing I don't know how to put it but I'm just gonna make an example this year buying from uh, China uh, it's an international um, you're buying internationally and then you are definitely going to pay extra charges which is tax when you are buying your stuff from another country it's not text because you're not from that country it's not like buying from pick and pay clicks Woolworths or any other shop where you are buying your food, your grocery or clothes from Mr. Price, they are going to tax you because you are a citizen of this country. You are buying, going to buy things while they are taxed. But the moment you buy from another country, there's no tax. Tax, I mean, yeah. So that's why when your staff arrives here, you definitely have to pay for those charges. It's the uh, custom juices most people they call them custom jutas it's the vat vat jutas and everything all those things it's usually three things that you have to pay for when you are clearing your customs right so the moment your things arrive here you definitely need to do all those stuff so let's say you're ordering from Alibaba. Once you have purchased your stuff, your stuff is usually going to it's usually going to be shipped from China to South Africa here in your country. It's either you're in South Africa or you're in the US, America, or you're in the other African countries like Zimbabwe, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, Uganda, and so on. So once you order a package or stuff from another country, definitely needs to be shipped. It's either you use an agent. I do have a video about finding an agent on Alibaba. Or it's either you are using any shipping services like USPS, FedEx, Aramex, uh, Express, UPS, or the post service, right? So when you are ordering your stuff and it's shipped by those companies it's going to come to this country from another country either it's going to fly with an airplane with other stuff right or it's going to be sent through um the cargo or it's going to be shipped uh using the the the, the 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 yeah you know the ship where it's going to be shipped and then it arrives to the the port usually they call it the cargo port i don't remember but it arrives at your nearest port especially if you're in Devon. it usually uh doesn't go through the flight or maybe it's a bigger package usually they it goes through sea so you have the option to choose either you want your package to come through C or come through A. So if you, let's say for me, when I ordered for the first time, the company that shipped it to me, it was USPS. So my supplier back then, he was the one who was working with those companies and then he chose USPS for me to deliver my stuff from China to South Africa, right? There were other options like FedEx, Aramex, but he decided to use UPS. There's even DHL, but he decided to use UPS to ship my stuff to come here in South Africa. So it took a week for my stuff to arrive, right? When my stuff arrived from uh, China to here in South Africa, my stuff was stacked. Or my package was stuck or it was stuck 
um yeah there in Kempton Park right that's where my staff was stuck at that's where my staff was held at it was stuck at the customs that's what they usually say so USPS they called me they called me and said hey Lizo, because that's the name that I wrote today. They were like, hey, Lizo and Gossi, we've got your package from China, but you need to clear for customs so we can bring in your package to your doorstep. And then I was like, okay, how much are, am I supposed to pay? They were like, we sent you an email. It has all the details. It has all the payment details, and it has all the information that is necessary for you. So I checked they, I checked my emails because my email was already on the package of my box because I gave all those details to my vendor and when my vendor was shipping my my sleep or I have forgotten what they call it but when he was shipping that um, paper that has all my details how much my thingy weighs how much my box weighs what is inside the box you know but my vendor was smart enough that like he only put the amount of shipping cost he didn't put the amount of how much was everything inside there and how much plus the the, the, the shipping cost no he only put the the, the 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 shipping cost only which was fifty dollars fifty dollars is around seven hundred and eighty right so after i have received the email from usps i checked the email they actually sent me an invoice in a pdf form along with their details well, how much do i need to pay them it was not too much but what i had to pay it was divided into three i remember it was duties something vat tax and some other duties that i don't remember but you can check back on my video where i mentioned those tutors but what i've known and what i've i've heard and searched from the SARS app is that like it usually charges around 15 percent of your cost i think because when i say but yeah and then i called them then i asked them um okay um i received the email and everything so they even send me how I should do the payment and everything. I think you can do the online payment thingy, but I was like, I'm skeptical to do any online payments because I have to put my card. But I was like, let me do the bank transfer, right? Yeah, so I did that and then I sent them the proof of payment back to their email to tell them that i have uh done the payment because i didn't do the online one the online one was going to um reflect same time but the one off transfer didn't reflect same, same time on their side so i had to send them proof of payment to tell them that hey i have already paid when are you releasing my package when are you releasing my stuff because i have already cleared for customs and then they were like okay they are going to check with me they are going to um send out my package the following day because i called them late around three so they're like first thing in the morning that's what they are going to do so that's how i was cleared for custom by paying those extra charges that they needed me to pay and it was not too much it was not too much because i didn't order things that costed me around 15k 20k and so on my package was small it was not big it didn't weigh more so i'm sure even if even when they calculated it also didn't um they it didn't like give them a higher price or anything so that's what i assume or that's what i think of but when i ordered my earrings um they also came within uh five days or three days i don't remember but they came came they came really really fast when i ordered my earrings the earrings there were not so many they don't weigh more so the price is the price it was not uh more and when it came to 
shipping i paid around 490 it was like around 500 red so when it came to customs i didn't have to clear for customs because the package was really really small you can also check my other videos to see where i talked about that i didn't have to pay for customs so i was assuming that like since the package was small and the package it didn't um charge or it didn't um it didn't cost more so i assumed that that's why i didn't have to pay for customs because my package was less and the pricing of the delivery or the shipping fee it was less and my package was also shipped through fedex because i had a different supplier for the earrings so it was shipped through fedex so yeah I didn't have to pay for customs there. So after I have cleared customs and I have received my products and they were in good condition, I went back to Alibaba and confirmed that I have received my products. And then that's when I was able to leave my suppliers a review with their company, but the reviews, they expire every year. And yeah, I no longer have a supplier. The supplier resigned and everything so i need to find myself a new supplier so if anyone is coming for me hey who's your supplier or shipping agent i don't have anyone in the moment but i'm looking to work with any chinese companies if they are willing to contact me and tell me that they want to work with me i'm i'm willing and be happy to work with any of them as long as they are reliable and they know what they are doing and they are trustworthy and they have quality products i'll definitely be willing to work with them when it comes to business and suggesting them to other people that are watching my videos yeah so i hope this was very informational please don't forget to leave me a like because if you are giving me a like you are helping my video to be suggested to other people and please also don't forget to comment and subscribe on my video because if you are engaging with my video by commenting you are helping my video to rank higher or rank more when people are searching for such content yeah bye you all